New tonight at 5.30, you may take dietary supplements that you need to keep you healthy, but they're not as safe as you may think. 23,000 people a year, in fact, go to the emergency room after taking a supplement. ABC Action News anchor Dia Riley tonight explaining 15 ingredients found in supplements that are potentially harmful. Supplements are easier to get than prescription drugs, and they carry an aura of being more natural and thus safer. A Consumer Reports survey finds 50% of Americans believe that supplement makers test their products for effectiveness, and 38% believe that supplements have been tested for safety by the Food and Drug Administration. For the most part, supplement makers don't have to prove that their products are safe. They don't have to prove that they work as advertised, and they don't have to prove that the packages contain what the labels say that they do. Consumer Reports has just released an investigation on supplements. Because the regulations are so weak, dietary supplements can be contaminated, they can be ineffective, they can be spiked with illegal or prescription drugs, and they can have harmful side effects. In response, the Council for Responsible Nutrition representing supplement manufacturers says that supplements are adequately regulated and the vast majority are safe. Consumer Reports has identified 15 supplement ingredients to avoid that have been linked to serious health hazards. For example, people use Yohimbi for obesity, sexual dysfunction, and depression, but it can raise blood pressure and heart rate, cause headaches, panic attacks, seizures, liver and kidney problems, and possibly even death. Yet Consumer Reports found those 15 supplement ingredients in products sold by major retailers such as GNC, Costco, CVS, Walmart, and Whole Foods. Consumer Reports believes the best way to protect the public is to have stronger federal regulation of supplements. Consumer Reports cautions that many supplements can also interact in dangerous ways with prescription drugs, so you should tell your doctor what supplements you're taking before you start a new prescription. You can get Consumer Reports' complete list of supplements to avoid on our website and a link to the full investigation. I'm Dia Riley for ABC Action News.